Hey, Maker. When it comes to taking photos of your products, there are three must-know angles for shooting. But which is best for your product and why? Find out in this video. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole, and I am a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. In this video, I will cover the three must know angles for product photography and when to choose each one. Keep in mind, when it comes to taking product photos, the goal is to showcase your product in a way that's going to really show how amazing it is and inspire use for a very specific person. And to do that, you need to choose a camera angle that's going to really support the features of your specific product. What are those three must-know angles? The first is eye level, which means that your camera is shooting straight on. Second is a 45 degree angle. Now this doesn't have to be exact, but basically your camera is going to have a downward angle. Third is the flat lay, which can also be referred to as overhead shooting. Before you decide which angle is right for your product, there are two things you need to consider. First, how is your product meant to be used? Now there are some exceptions to this rule, which we'll discuss later in this video. And second is where is the most important detail on your product? Let's take a look at a few examples. So let's start with a candle. So most of the times we are going to have a label on the front of the candle. Some candles will have lids, some won't. This specific candle, candles are meant to be used upright in this position, okay? And the main detail of the candle is on the front. So for this specific candle, the best option is going to be shooting at eye level straight on because that's where the detail is. Now I could take off the lid and I could prop it or something. And you'll notice inside there is a wick. We could do kind of, if you have a lot of detail in here, we could do kind of a 45 degree angle down so that we saw a little of the detail inside and still saw the front detail. Now this product specifically is not meant to be used on its side. So shooting flat lay from above isn't really the best choice. Just look at a side-by-side -side comparison. Which one would you click on? Here is an example of that 45 degree angle. So in this specific photo, the candle is actually being lit. So the camera angle is a little higher and tilted downwards so we can see the inside of the actual candle as well as the important detail on the front. Now, if you make candles with a lot of detail on the top, then that 45 degree angle is going to be a perfect example for you. There's not a lot of detail on the front. There isn't a label, but the detail lives within the top of the product. So this 45 degree angle is showing the detail of the product while also giving us a little you know, peek on the outside and what the container is. Now, this is a dough bowl candle. So for this specific candle, there's a lot, a lot of detail on the top and not so much detail on the actual side. So this specific type of candle photographs really well as a flat lay because of the detail on top. So I can't just say candles have to be shot straight on. I can't just say that you shouldn't use a 45 degree angle or you shouldn't use a flat lay. When it comes to your specific product, you want to make sure that you are showing the most important detail of your product and what really sets you apart as a seller. You need to pick a camera angle that's going to show those features the best way, but also consider a realistic way because realism is super important. As we're scrolling through social, we're scrolling through search we pay attention to things that are relevant to us, things that we know, that we understand, that we value. So when you choose to shoot a product in a way with the right angle that shows how that product's going to be used and you're connecting with a very specific person, it really grabs their attention and gets them to click. Next, we're going to take a look at this frosted glass tumbler. Now, there aren't a lot of exceptions when it comes to this type of product. So when it comes to coffee mugs, tumblers, chervises, anything like that that's meant to be held upright with liquid. Shooting straight on 
or potentially at a 45 degree angle to kind of capture some of the detail of the lid and the straw, that is going to be your best option when it comes to really showcasing this type of product in its best light. Laying the turvis on its side, especially on a fur rug, is not the most realistic way to showcase how amazing this actual product is. Okay, we want to be inspiring use. We want to stop them in their tracks. We want to put this cup into a setting that's going to connect with a very specific person. I know some of you aren't going to want to hear this, but some products are just not meant to be shot at a certain camera angle. I know flat lays are super, super trendy. A lot of people want to incorporate flat lays into their product photography, but it doesn't do you any good if it's not helping to showcase how amazing your product and its features are. The next product we're going to talk about is a planner. So planners are flat. They open up like a book. So more often than not, the most effective camera angle for planners is going to be a flat lay. Sometimes that 45 degree angle works well and can really help set the mood. But more often than not, choosing to shoot a planner at eye level straight on just really isn't going to showcase the features of the product in a realistic way. Let's talk about tees or sweatshirts, any type of top clothing. T-shirts can be styled in multiple angles. Flat lay is a great option. Shooting straight on at eye level on a model is a great option. Shooting it straight on at eye level with the actual t-shirt hanging. And here is another example. More often than not, you will not use a 45 degree angle with a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. And here's another quick example of it hanging. Now, even though this is kind of a slight camera angle from left to right, it is still an eye level shooting straight on type of camera angle. The next product I want to talk about is one that's actually versatile with all three angles, depending on the type of soap that you're making. So with this specific bar of soap, there's a lot of detail in the front because the, the seller's logo is actually imprinted into the soap. So most of the details up front. So this product would work great as a eye level shooting straight on. Here's another example of shooting straight on. Now, I do feel like the seller missed the mark a little bit because with this specific soap, there's some detail on the top that the straight on angle is not showing us. So if you have amazing detail on the top of your product and on the front, then using that 45 degree angle, that's going to help showcase the detail that's on the top and on the front. The cool thing, though, is soap also works as a flat lay if you have it turned sideways and the majority of your detail is on the side. So soap is one of those ones that are super versatile. You can get creative and use multiple camera angles. Just make sure your core focus is showing the product in a realistic way and showing the most important detail. Now, I mentioned that there were some exceptions to the rule. This is one of them. If you make candles... Candles are not meant to be used on their side. So if you have a very specific message or if you want to potentially stop someone in their tracks. So there is some research in regards to actually doing things the opposite way or doing things in a way that we wouldn't normally do them that create attention, that grab attention. Prime example, I was scrolling through Facebook a couple months ago, and there was a picture of the singer Adele, and her face was actually upside down. So that stopped me in my tracks because I'm like, well, wait, this is a person's face upside down. It's not supposed to be that way. Sometimes this can have a positive effect, and sometimes this can have a negative effect. And it's not a tactic that you want to use often, but if it supports your messaging, so this specific candle is a Saturday morning's cartoon candle and they're kind of creatively showcasing the fact that this candle specifically smells like fruity pebbles by using fruity pebbles by taking the candle and putting it into a bowl of fruity pebbles so this is an exception if your messaging supports the type of angle you're choosing that's another story but you have to be intentional creating with intention not just 
picking up your product and saying, okay, I like how flat lays look, so I'm going to shoot my product as a flat lay. Create with intention. And this is a great use of visual here because obviously the seller cannot use Fruity Pebbles in their title or their tags or their description. Okay, so this is a way to visually ignite the senses and say, hey, Saturday morning cartoons, this is what it's going to smell like. Shooting candles as a flat lay, shooting turvises, frosted glass tumblers in your packaging as a flat lay or a 45 degree angle as shown here. No, the product is not going to be used on its side, but this is a different type of message. The goal of this photo is to show how the product will be packaged, not to show the product's detail or show the product in actual use. Okay, so intention, creating a specific messaging, if that supports the message and what you're trying to communicate in that photo, then by all means, choose the angle that's going to support that type of communication. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.